Been a pretty good day for punters. I think they'd be on the right side of the ledger at this point. So in the 160 now, they've taken the 170 in the 160 for Brash and Sassy. They're all boxed. Green light, blue and travels. Race 8, last leg of the quaddy. Good luck if you're still going. Ready. Racing Brash and Sassy, Mr. Zipping Tato flew the lead. Zippy Brash and Sassy will go through the second. Aspen Valley, it's outside. Followed by Cedar Roxy, Swade, and last with Amaral Flyer. Brash and Sassy wanted to get right off. Collider with Aspen Valley. Zipping Tato went to the lead. Favourites in plenty of bother. And Zipping Tato's opened up. Cedar Roxy goes to second, but it's taken 32 stars to win at Goulburn. Zipping Tato, and it beats uh, Zeta Roxy. Swade and might have got third. A nose on Brass and Sassy, and a nose to Aspen Valley. And Emerald Fly was last 20 and 60 the time. 32 starts at Goulburn and she has finally broken through Zipping Toto and got the lovely run down the side when Brash and Sassy wanted to get off and it opened it right up for her. She's by Kiwa Sweet Trey and a Natalie Rass, owned in train by Chris Priestley. Second goes the number three, Cedar Roxy, Andrew Bell, and four, Swade and Robert Blakely, third, and one, Brash and Sassy. Gee, she wanted to use the track all right, has run fourth, two, three, four, and one, 665, the first split, 20 and 61 was the overall, 1396 is the run home, the winner at $12 and $3.10, margins are three and a quarter by one and a half after race eight. Okay, Sky, all clear, Goulburn, all clear, Goulburn, two, three, four, one. With the all clear on the previous, race nine, no scratchings and a field of six. Probably the race of the day here, the ninth event due at 2.17.